it's Drew here from Drew's Crochet and in this series of short videos I'm going to show you how to do Stanley the Snail's shell in three easy steps. Now you can see his shell has got this wonderful ridging all the way around it and of course it ends in this nice little curl here so it looks like a real shell. Now it looks good but it's really easy to do. So remember if you like these videos, please hit the subscribe button underneath and even better, hit that little bell down there. Okay, let's get on with step one. Step one is simple. First of all, you start off by making the magic ring. Now simply, it's a normal magic ring and put six stitches in. five and six. Now as always when you're pulling it remember don't pull it too hard the first time just to make it easier to get into your first stitch. Okay now thinking about making the shell for Stanley we want to do every stitch after we've made this magic circle we want every stitch when we're making the initial cone for the shell to be back loop only. So that'll be written as in capital letters B-L-O. All this means is, you can see there, the V of, the st of each stitch, you go into the back V of each stitch. That's all it is, so you leave the front loops open all the time. It's really simple. It looks hard, but it's simple. Now you even do that on the increasing stitches, which is simply two stitches into one stitch from the previous row, but you always do it in the back loop. So look, this is our first one make this our increasing stitch on this row so that's in the back loop there and we'll just go in again into that back loop and then we'll just carry on into the back loop of each stitch three four and seven because we increased our first stitch. So this is the beginning. <laughs> well, that's a very tip of the curl of the shell, it will be. Okay, so we're gonna carry on doing that, increasing as the pattern tells us to, and I'll meet you back when we finish the first bit. Remember, every stitch will be back loop only. Right, we're about halfway through now. I just thought I'd show you the type of shape that we're aiming for at this stage. I don't know if you can see the sort of like spirally lines going round. We're going to be using that in the next step of this shell. Now, I'll meet you again when I get to the end. But just as a note, you might want to put in a stitch marker at the beginning of each row. So as you go around, you don't lose your places where you want to start the next row. Because remember, each row we start with an increasing stitch to get this nice cone. If you want the written pattern for this, you'll find it in my book, Welcome to Spring Amigurumi. So now we finish the basic cone shape, as you can see there. Now, I don't know if you can see on this camera or not, but don't worry if you've got like a line going up where you've increased all the way up that won't matter in the final thing because we're going to cover all that over with a beautiful ridge that you saw at the beginning so that is step one of Sammy the Snail's shell and I'll see you in step two